I don't even think I'm gonna plug the Bluetooth in. If I tap on here, I can color in the screen. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Game video. I got contacted by a company which said they would send this to me for free if I would review it for you. It's called the Devoom Timebox Mini. Normally I say, I, I mean, I don't actually say yes to all the requests that come in, but this is the sort of thing that looks really interesting. To, inter interesting? It did look interesting to me because of stuff like this. Hold on, let me just show you. Whip pan, stuff like this. I think you may remember from a long time ago, I actually made this clock. It's a Lego nano block clock. So in fact, the idea of a speaker or alarm clock thing with a customizable feature actually seems like quite a good idea to me. So I sent them a message back and I said, yes, yeah, send it to me. But apart from the fact that it's a speaker, I don't really know anything else about it, except that it's got glowing lights on the front. And that was enough for me to be quite interested in it. So let's get it out the box. On the front of the box, it says Devoom Time Box Mini. On the back, it actually says exclusive chat, one-to-one private chat. You'll have to forgive my ignorance on this one, but I thought most chats were private one-to-one -one affairs. But anyway, I'm keen to see what's on the inside because I like the idea of a customizable speaker with lights. Come out! Did I hit the camera? Ooh, actually the inside box is much, much nicer. This is one of those products that looks like it's designed to sit on a shelf in the Apple store. Anyway, it says Devoom. Da -da -da -da. Okay, that's nice. Hit the fan. I'm not gonna throw this part. Now, this is probably the speaker inside here. Sounds like a it sounds like a USB cable. A 3.5 millimeter mini plug. I guess this is for going between your iPhone or your music player and the speaker. USB micro cable for presumably charging the device. And a snack. I'm I'm always kidding when I say that the silica gel is a snack. It's not a snack. Don't eat this. Uh, no, I'm not gonna and an instruction manual, the most intelligent desktop companion. I really don't understand what this product is for or what it does. Ooh, oh, hey, this is fancy. <coughs> All right, I'm giving you a quick look at the front of the speaker. On the side, it says Devoom. On the back, it has all the plugs for the, I presume, auxiliary input, auxiliary output, and the micro S no, sorry, I was gonna say SD card and the micro USB port on the side It looks like it has brightness control and power. There's a hole on the side I'm not really sure what it's for but it's probably for the microphone or something and last but not least on the top It has the play plus and minus buttons, which I'm assuming are for volume and just simple, you know So let's go ahead and pull this off the front Ah <sighs> That's satisfying. So it doesn't look anything like I thought it was gonna look. It's very, very glossy on the front. I thought there were going to be a bunch of little rubber pads, a bit like some sort of Ableton Live music controller, but actually, actually it's just, oh, you can see my camera. If anything, all I'm showing you now is basically my camera. All right, so I don't really know how this works. Let's go ahead and switch it on. Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know what it's doing, but it's, I'm already impressed. Wow. <laughs> it's freaking out. I'm just pressing the button randomly and I'm getting some cool stuff. Let's have a party! Let's turn the lights off! I don't even think I'm gonna plug the Bluetooth in. This is, this. I'm having plenty of fun not even plugging it in. A long time ago, there was a woman called... The Chainsaw Lady! Anyway, so I'm gonna go and pick up the instruction manual and figure out how this thing actually works. Crikey! I really need to get out of this habit of chucking stuff everywhere. It is a Bluetooth speaker, a lamp, a digital palette, an alarm clock all in one, and it waits for your exploration. Inspired by light and sound, try this box of wonder and fun. This is the sort of thing that you buy for people for Christmas. Download the Devoom app. All right, I found this app here. It's called the Devoom Time Box. I presume this is it. All right, let's open up some music. Oh, I think I've connected. Oh, wow. Oh, it's bassy. Okay. So all the music is coming out the back of the speaker. Turn down the volume on here and I can also turn up the volume. Is this something to do with the music? <laughs> it's like a really low fidelity version of the music I'm playing. What is this? Is this a video game? You've got to move using the left and right buttons. I press the volume buttons to move. So when I get to a bit, hold on a second. If I move this way, oh wow. I, I don't see myself playing video games on my alarm clock very often, but this would be great at a party. This is not the most thrilling game I've ever played, to be quite honest. This is the Magic 8 Ball. Should I throw this piece of cardboard at the wall? Shake, 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 shake. Nothing happened. Do I shake my phone? Oh, I thought you shake the speaker. <laughs> okay. What does it say? 
Why is the answer taking so long? No. You, my friend, will live to see another day. Should I read a random tweet to you on the camera? This is so dumb because essentially I could just look at my phone, but I have to look at my clock. Yes! It wants me to read you a random tweet. All right, hold on. All right, it looks like the first tweet I've got is a reply from Gadget Girl Kylie. They will auto flag anything they can't decide on. This is a reply to a message about a video that I posted yesterday when I was playing Street Fighter V, and it got flagged for not being suitable for all advertisers, and I honestly don't know why. Should I throw you on the ground? Didn't work. Okay, it's- it's coming to search for an answer. If this is yes, I'm gonna have to throw this on the ground and it's gonna be kind of sad. <gasps> you will live to see another day, Devoom! What is this feature? This is the dice feature. I guess this is- this is a, a dice, you could use this- Ah! Oh. If you are playing some sort of role-playing game with your friends and you need a speaker, then you- Oh! 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 Oh, hang on, it's going crazy. That's actually not what I wanted to do. You could be playing some sort of role-playing game that needs a dice and you could just shake this and it would roll the dice for you. All right, you got the nipple. Let's start taking bets on whether YouTube flags this video for, <laughs> for me saying nip. What's going on? Is this, <laughs> it's like a really awful version of roulette. Not roulette, it's some kind of slot machine. This part looks really interesting. This is the design version. Here's the app. If I tap on here, I can color in the screen with different colors. So let's say I want lots of blue. By the way, I've never done this before in my life. Have a bit of green in the corner. And I don't know, some pink? What's this? Gallery. Oh, you can choose from pre-rendered, from pre-rendered stuff. Okay. Oh, these are animations. Is it playing? Oh, it is playing. Oh, you can see it. This is quite a cool product, actually. This, this would make an excellent Christmas gift. Sorry, my phone is in Japanese right now, but essentially there's a bunch of functions, a planner function, designer function, animation. There's a lot of stuff that you can do on here, clearly. So I've set an alarm. It will should go off in a minute. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Oh, <laughs> it has chosen to play the music that I, I was playing earlier. Yeah, you can choose on, you can choose music or you can choose guitar. Rain? Why would you want to wake up to that? The sound of the city? Well, I guess if you're if you're cooped up in a place where where you can't hear the city, that might be nice. Ah, oh, this one's ah. Ouch. ah, I felt like I had a bird in my. That actually sounds like an alarm. I think even if you don't need all this light up stuff or the the mini games, it is still at its heart a portable speaker, and I think most people can find a use for a portable speaker. Let's find out how much it costs. Essentially, on Amazon.com, it is $59.90, or at retail, uh, full retail price is $69.90. That's actually not too bad, isn't it? I think a lot of portable speakers already cost about $70, and they don't have any of these features, but this is, like, cute, and it's got this pixely thing, plus if you're a YouTuber, you can stick it there. So I think in the future, for a few videos, I might have this speaker in the background. Let's choose a nice picture. Tetris! Sick! Oh, that is sick! I have just fallen in love with this device because it plays Tetris. I think technically speaking, to call it Tetris, you have to use the correct colors and the longer block has to be light blue. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like they are following the correct colors. So they can actually, technically they probably shouldn't be calling it Tetris, but we will, we will see whether the Tetris Foundation picks up on this. So there you have it, a device that I originally thought I had absolutely no need for, but because it has this Tetris animation on it, I'm probably going to use it in the future. If you have a YouTube channel, this is probably quite a cool little decoration to have in the background. I do use my phone as an alarm clock, but I would, I do like the idea of having my phone in a separate place, but having the, the speaker nearby my head so that it wakes me up. Because unfortunately, and this is something that a lot of people talk about, is having your phone nearby when you're trying to go to sleep can actually make it harder to go to sleep because you're, you're like tempted to like check out your messages and especially if you like to make YouTube videos you'll be like checking how many views and checking you know comments and repeat replying to tweets and stuff especially if you have tweets coming in from around the world you'll be tempted to play around with your phone at night so this is quite nice it's a good excuse to have an alarm clock 
near my head, something connected to my phone, but not my phone. Again, I'm not gonna tell you to buy it, but I reckon a lot of you have already decided that you want one. If you're interested, just look it up, Devoom. I don't know if they've, if they've given me a link, I'll, I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. That is the Timebox Mini. Tetris. Have a good time. Da 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 da